want to tell you about a few things that are happening in the life of our church, things that you should know about and things that you might want to be connected to in order to be growing and in order to serve alongside us as a church. The first thing I want to tell you about is unrelated to us, but it connects with us, is that Daylight Savings is next weekend. And so if you're one of those people who, I don't know if there's any of you who exists, but who doesn't have a smartphone and who actually uses a clock and you have to turn it back, don't forget to do that for next Sunday. We used to have to announce this all the time because people would show up an hour late on Sundays before everybody had alarm clocks that were on their phones. But if you're one of those people, don't forget, Daylight Savings is next weekend, so don't forget to turn your clocks back. I want to tell you about our Big Night Out service that is coming up on Sunday, November the 15th. This is a chance for our whole church to get together in one place for a worship service. And right now we have that on our schedule for the 15th of November in the afternoon evening. And we are inviting you to sign up for that now. Now, obviously, we don't know what protocol will be by then, but we are looking forward to everybody signing up and knowing the numbers before we jump into it. And if we are able to run that big night out service in Peel, we will run it. And so please go on over to the website, renewchurch.ca, and sign your family up so that we know that you are attending and do that now. Uh, whether or not we're able to do it on the 15th, we want you to sign up to make sure that if we are able to do it, that you are committed to coming. So go do that for us. It's going to be a great service together to worship together as a church and as a community. And uh, connected to that is baptisms, normally at our big night out. We do baptisms, and in order to do baptisms, we are looking to see if there are other people who are wanting to get baptized. And so, if you've been thinking about baptism for a little while, and you just haven't taken that step of faith uh, in your life or in your faith journey, we encourage you to reach out to us and connect with us here at Renew Church, and we would love to take you through a study on baptism. Now, the study is non-committal. You can go through the study and then still choose to not get baptized after, but it's a chance for you to understand baptism and how we view it here at Renew Church and what the process is for baptism here at Renew Church. And so we would love to take you through that if you've ever been curious about baptism. We're going to be running one of those classes uh, next Sunday evening at 7 p.m. Pastor Mitch is going to run that. And so if you are interested in that, if that connects with you in any kind of way, we want you to go over to our website. You can do this now, renewchurch.ca slash connect and fill out the connect card there and let us know that you're interested in getting connected with the baptism course, learning more about it, and doing the study with Pastor Mitch next weekend uh, at 7 p.m. And so please do that for us. I want to tell you about the Renew Kids costume Zoom party that is coming up. Lena referenced it in the pre-service today. That is coming up next Sunday on November the 1st. It's going to be at 4 p.m. Uh, for ages 3 to 5 and 5 p.m. for ages 6 to 10. And there's a sign up link in our website. And so if you want to get connected with that, you have kids, we would love for you to have them join us for the Zoom costume party for Renew Kids. In order to do that, just go over to Renew Kids or renewchurch.ca slash renew dash kids and you can find all the information there. Almost everything you need is found on our website. And so you should have that pulled up on your phone beside you if you're watching on your TV right now and be engaging with that. The final thing I want to tell you about is about our fellowship and uh, a prayer initiative in our fellowship. Uh, some of you guys realize, and some of you don't, that we are a part of a larger fellowship of churches. It's actually a global alliance of churches. There's thousands of churches that are connected to this alliance called Karis Alliance. In the month of November, uh, we are praying for the different churches. And so uh, starting on November 1st, we're going to have a prayer walk that we're inviting every church connected to our fellowship to participate in. And you're going to see a video just after this. It's going to give you more information on that. But we encourage you as a part of our church here at Renew Church connected to the Karis Alliance to participate in the month of November praying for the churches all over the world that are connected to the Karis Fellowship. And so I want to invite you to stay tuned and watch this short video and then act on that video afterwards by going on over to the website karisalliance.org org and learning more about this prayer initiative in the month of November. So thanks for tuning in for the announcements. I want you to stay tuned and check out this video and we'll jump into worship after that. Together, we have accomplished amazing things. Even as the pandemic gripped the nations, God continued to build his kingdom and countless people have experienced the hope of Christ in tangible ways. In Latin America, Caris Alliance Churches 
planned and executed 62 projects to provide relief in six countries. These churches distributed groceries, masks, household items, Bibles, evangelistic materials, and even toys. They provided food and blankets to homeless people. They also offered emotional and spiritual support. In Argentina, more than 15 non-believing families received help and hope, and 35 children received assistance in Rio Cuarto alone. Members of the Caris Church of Cordoba have made over 1,000 face masks and distributed them with evangelistic materials. In Chile, Caris Church members distributed 150 masks and gospel brochures. In Guatemala, 16 families received counseling and carpentry training. In the Central African Republic, pastors and their wives, as well as widows of pastors, were reminded of God's care and provision for them through financial gifts. Caris churches in Nigeria distributed food and supplies to those in need. In Central Asia, Caris Alliance church members shared food, the gospel message, and the Jesus film with people in their communities. In the Philippines, Caris churches provided meals for children in their neighborhoods. As they went, they distributed relief supplies and shared the gospel in their communities. One Caris partner traveled up into the mountain villages, bringing groceries and the gospel to remote communities. Over the course of these efforts, more than 20 Filipinos put their faith in Jesus. Thank you for supporting the churches and ministry partners of the Caris Alliance. We could not have done any of this without your help. Now, let's keep it going. Together, we will keep blessing the nations as we continue to support the work of the Caris Alliance. I trust you're encouraged as you see what we've accomplished together over the past several months. And if you're like me, you just want to do more for the nations. Imagine what may happen if thousands of people around the world committed to pray for this global network of churches and their outreach ministries into their local communities. That's why I'm inviting you to the Karis Global Prayer Walk. Each day in November, we'll send you some brief information about a specific country in the Karis Alliance, along with specific prayer requests from our ministry leaders who live and work there. I look forward to praying along with you in November. Would you take a moment right now to sign up using the link on the screen?